We have to talk about the Try Guys because they just did their first ever interview since Ned left and we got even more insight into how that time impacted them and what their plans are moving forward. It's a mess, so let's get into it. By now, I'm going to go ahead and assume that we all know what happened with the Try Guys. Ned was a part of the Try Guys, he ended up cheating on his wife with an employee, they were caught by fans, which led to Ned being let go from the company and Alex stepping down. It's safe to say, the guys have been through hell these past few months. From the money that they spent on lawyers, publicists, trying to handle everything in a way where they can't get sued, trying to save their public image, and having to re-edit so much old footage. As Ned has been removed from their brand, the remaining Try Guys have taken a few opportunities to throw some harmless shade towards Ned. Your Pop-Tart has, has, has made it to fourth place. <laughs> You're scaring our judges. <laughs> and as much as some fans are loving the Ned shade, some of them are starting to get a little bit sick of it. Some fans want the guys to get back to their old content and just move on from the drama. There's some people who even think the shade towards Ned is getting a little bit unnecessary. During their podcast episode this week, they threw a little bit of shade towards Ned when they were talking about editing their videos. Zach was going through the rule that all the guys play when it comes to editing their videos, and then he made a comment about Ned. Yeah. Um, <laughs> examples of what you edited. I mean, you edited the first without a recipe mm -hmm. uh, when it was very baking bread mm -hmm. and really mm -hmm. figured out what that style was. I mean, Keith is like, you are the best at like editing fast. I, I'm a utility it. editor. Yeah. I and oh, I yeah. often prefer to make a really good rough cut very quickly and uh -huh. give it to someone else. And then Eugene is like he in writing and in editing, he is only a final draft guy. I think iterative cuts are really important and like with writing, you like you write a bad version and yeah. then you look at it and you make it better and better. Uh -huh. But that's just like he only is capable of delivering something that is perfect. That's yeah. so funny. And yeah, then we I, used to work with someone who didn't edit at all. <laughs> Sounds um, like a personal problem. <laughs> and while most people in the comments were living for what I would call harmless shade, there were a few people who said they were kind of over it. We had comments like, so unnecessary though. Another person said, I kind of agree. I wish we would never hear about that again. And someone else said, it's annoying to be honest, like get over it already. Even someone on their Reddit page expressed the same opinion, writing, yeah, I'm not a fan of shitting on every little thing Ned has ever contributed. He did a terrible thing, and unlike many men in his position, he's facing the consequences for it, and I don't feel sorry for him one bit. But this weird narrative that he never had anything positive to give and the guys all secretly hated him is really reaching. Ned clearly wanted to be a performer and wanted to be creative, but it wasn't as natural and intrinsic to him as the other guys. He leaned into his other talents and experience to get into entertainment. He worked in a different department at BuzzFeed, so he wasn't editing. And once they split into their own company, if he was slower, less efficient, and not as good at editing, why wouldn't he leave that up to people who are better at it? So I guess this person is kind of annoyed that the Try Guys are acting like they hated Ned and everything that he ever did at the company wasn't good. I think what we have to remember in this whole situation is what Ned did was such a huge betrayal of everything the guys had together. You can't blame them for throwing a little bit of shade and still being mad. It honestly hasn't been that long since this all happened. Ned could have easily destroyed everything that they worked for. I don't think the guys hated him before this all happened, and I'm sure there were some positives that they can look back on. But unfortunately, that's probably all erased right now because of what he put them through. The Try Guys recently did an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, and it sounds like they also want to move on from what happened and focus on their future. The reporter asked them how they've been doing since all this drama happened, and this is what Zach had to say. How to answer that. I'd say we're doing well. We're excited about what we're making, what we have our sights on for the future. Look, it was a destabilizing few months, but we found our footing and we are working on cool things and happy. They also asked about their plans for the future as a group of three, and Keith answered this question and said, We're still continuing our company moving forward, and I think over time, in the next years, the Try Guys will change what it looks like. Maybe there's more of us. Maybe it's less specific to just three of us. 
At the heart of it, our show is about people experiencing things that they never experienced before. It's about having an open mind and having a fun time doing it and being okay to fail at it. I think as long as that ethos and message goes through our content, the Try Guys being Keith, Zach, and Eugene is less important than the Try Guys being a cast of people that helps other people to learn about other people without saying the same phrase five times. But that is the core of it. The three of us, for a long time, been interested in evolving as artists, evolving as a collective. What we're focused on right now is figuring out ways to make what we make cooler and change it up. So to me, that sounds like going into next year, it might not always just be the three of them in every video. We've already experienced Eugene being absent from videos to work on his own projects, Zach is working on a film, and Keith has his own comedy show. I have a feeling the Try Guys will probably become less about three guys trying things and it'll slowly move to more of a production company that brings all sorts of guests together. That way the Try Guys can still live on, but at the same time, they can still go off here and there and pursue their own passions. The interviewer then went on to ask them how they adjusted to their newfound fame. They were once known for being these four really positive, fun guys, and then overnight, they were known for something really serious, and everyone was talking about it. Keith replied to this question, and he said, Well, obviously being parodied on SNL was something we didn't really ever anticipate out of our careers. We never thought we were important enough to be ridiculed that way. We've had a big wave of people coming to see where our channel was and trying to look for drama. And most of these people have been like, okay, there's really not much drama left here. I'm going to move on. But we've had old fans who've been reintroduced to our content and they're like, I really like this. I forgot how much I like this. And now they're back and here to stay. And we definitely had some people that never heard of us, saw what we do, and have decided to become new fans. But I think and hope that the wave of us being in the public eye for the Ned Fulmer scandal is coming to an end. The interviewer started to try and dig deeper into the whole SNL skit, and he was asking them more and more questions. And then at one point it says, A publicist intervenes to request the conversation move away from Saturday Night Live. The publicist stepped in again when the guys were asked if they were still in communication with Ned. It says, a publicist intervenes to say that for legal reasons, the Try Guys will not address any specifics related to their communication with Fulmer. Fulmer did not respond to a request for comment from The Hollywood Reporter. So I think it's safe to say that the Try Guys definitely want to move on from Ned and everything that happened. The shade that we've seen thrown here and there is probably just them getting their anger and hurt out in a semi-healthy way without risking a lawsuit. I'm sure there's so much more that they could say, and the shade is honestly so harmless compared to what Ned did to them. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. Do you think the Try Guys are on the right path to move away from this whole messy situation? Or do you think it would be in their best interest to stop throwing any shade towards him? Let me know and I'll see you next time.